Let's do problem number 43. Find all solutions to the following equation. Leave your answers in exact form. So the question says 2c cubed plus 4c squared plus 96c and it's all equal to 0. So I guess we can start by trying to factor something out. It looks like we can factor a 2c out from each term. So we have 2c, parentheses, and then the question becomes, what do we multiply by 2c in order to get 2c cubed? So c squared, then plus, and then what do we multiply by 2c in order to get 4c squared? So I guess 2c. And then what do we multiply by 2c in order to get 96c? I guess 48 would be a good choice. And all of this is equal to 0. So now we have a product equal to 0, so we just set each factor equal to 0. So 2c equals 0, and c squared plus 2c plus 48. All of this is equal to 0. In the first equation, we can divide both sides by 2, so divide by 2, divide by 2. So we get c equals 0. And then in this equation here, um, I guess we can use um, the quadratic formula or completing the square. Let's complete the square. Let's do it that way, just for practice. So to complete the square, you would start by subtracting the 48. So you get c squared plus 2c equals negative 48. By the way, this is one of the answers, c equals 0, so uh, we're almost there. So subtract 48 from both sides, and we get this. So to complete the square, what you do um, is you take this number here, the coefficient, you divide it by 2 and you square it. So I'll do it up here. So 2 over 2, that's equal to 1. When you square that, you get 1. So you always take this number, divide it by 2, and square it. Then we add it to both sides, so plus 1 plus 1. Boom. So we get c squared plus 2c plus 1. And then here we get negative 47. All right. Now this next step in completing the square is that this piece here always factors. Okay. It's parentheses c, parentheses. And then you just take this number and you divide it by 2. So 2 over 2 is 1. Right? Always just divide it by 2 and then you keep the sign. Then here we have negative 47. Good stuff. Now we have to get rid of the 2, so we take the square root of both sides, take the square root. When you take the square root of a variable squared, you always have to put a plus or minus. And then the negative here inside the square root becomes an i, so you get i square root 47. Last thing to do is subtract 1 from both sides. So we end up with c equals negative 1 plus or minus i square root 47. And that, those should be the other two answers. Let me go ahead and scroll down and check. I haven't done this problem before, so let's just check to see if it's right. I believe this file has all of the answers. So this was 40, this was 44, yeah, 40, no, 43. So let's see, let's go down, see if we have the answers. Yeah, we do. Yes, good stuff. So zero, and then looks like they broke off the answers, and then here they give us another choice. Wow, multiple ways to write the answer, as you see here. So good stuff. Looks like we did it uh, correctly. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.